Okay, this is the problem of the day for September 27th and for the SAT ACT average speed question. It says Luis traveled from Alamo to Brownsville at a speed of 40 miles per hour and on the way back he was in a hurry he traveled at a speed of 60 miles per hour find his average speed. Now a lot of students are getting this one wrong on the SAT because what they're doing is they're doing 40 plus 60 divided by 2 they say so the answer is 50 miles per hour and that will be one of the answer choices and that's always incorrect. As a matter of fact it's going to be always a little less than 50 miles per hour so if you were in a hurry you would pick a number uh, a little less than 50 miles per hour and then it would be a guessing game but in this case we want to work this out we want to take uh, from point A to point B it's the same distance as from B to A let's pick a number and let's say that the distance here is 120 miles the actual distance from Alamo to Brownsville is probably less than 120 miles but if you're going 40 miles an hour this way at 40 miles an hour 40 into 120 is 3 it would take you three hours to make that trip and if you're going uh, 60 miles an hour this way going back at 60 miles an hour 60 into 120 it would take you two hours it would take you two hours to make that trip and the average the average speed is always average speed is always going to be the total distance travel divided by the total time that it takes and so we know that the total distance traveled here 120 plus 120 2 times 120 is 240 and the total time is 2 plus 3 so you're going to have 240 divided by 5 that is 48 miles per hour so your answer in this problem is 48 miles per hour which uh, if we extend the page a little bit we'll have a little formula for that uh, the average speed is the same thing as the the same thing as the harmonic mean and the formula for harmonic mean is 2ab over a plus b so in this case we had uh, 40 and 60 for a and b so we have 2 times 40 times 60 over 40 plus the 60 so we have 100 in the denominator this would be 4800 divided by 100 that's exactly 48 miles per hour so in this type of problem you could just use the harmonic mean and that would be your answer right there for this problem and that concludes our problem of the day